Hello and welcome to the Football United TV channel. I'm Matt King and I'm here again with my homie, my bro, Dan King, the winner of today. Well, I didn't the... play. Well, I didn't play. <laughs> you didn't play, but yeah, you, you know, you know, it's, it, you, you did. The, fan, the fans were there, they, they supported the team and it looked like you, you, you guys deserved it pretty much. What, what do you make of the game, Dan? Uh, cheers, man. Well, um, I've only just watched it because I was working um, while the game was actually on. So I turned all the notifications off on my phone. Um, the guy I was working with uh, was a photographer and he, he was a Spurs fan. He kept saying, oh, Dan, do you want to know what the score is? I'm like, no, no, I'm going to go home and watch this on my own. And then came home, kept all the notifications off my phone, watched the game. And I'll be honest, I was massively surprised. I didn't. I, like we spoke yesterday, I didn't fancy us uh, before the game. and uh, But I think we played really well. I think defensively we were solid, attacking. We had some really good chances early on. Aubameyang had some good chances, Lacazette did. Um, but I think defensively we were strong. United were unlucky when Lukaku hit the bar. Um, but yeah, I think we stood our ground. Yeah, it was, it was for, for a 2-0, it was a really good game. I thought so, yeah. I mean, I sat there, I was watching it and... Uh, a few chances from Man United in the first half that made it look a little bit scary, but I guess the the decision of the penalty, which is something we should go on to maybe, well, how do you feel about that? Because I felt that maybe that was a little bit lenient. But <clears throat> well, uh, I, well, I messaged you, didn't I? As soon as I saw that bit and I said, no, nah, I don't think that's a penalty. I don't think it is a penalty. Um, it's very soft. That. I mean, is there contact? I think there's a little shove, right? There's a little shove in the back. But it's a contact sport. I I wouldn't give it. I wouldn't. But then, like, we could go back to the PSG game, like we spoke about midweek, and go, is doing is doing that, and the ball hitting you on the arm. Is that is that a penalty? If it's so, in the spot that you make contact, yeah, I guess you're right, Dan. Yeah. I think <clears throat> did swing the game, mate. Also, Abamyang. His penalties, they are not convincing. He kind of just roll. he kind of waits for the keeper to dive out of the way and roll them in. And that's what he did against Lloris. Like he he played it so down the like <laughs> so down the line with not a lot of power. It's kind of a ballsy thing to do. But last week against Lloris, it didn't come off. Today, De Gea dived and you saw how annoyed he was. He got even it was like, I knew he was gonna do that, and I still dived and I should have just stood my ground. Um, I Luke, felt his frustration last year. Czech did that a lot. I like Czech last year. A lot of penalty takers put it straight down the middle at him, and he so often he dive early. And all you're thinking as a player is like, just for one, for one, just stand still and see what happens. Yeah, he looked relieved actually, didn't he? When he when he celebrated, he, he Bat Yang. Yeah, obviously, obviously they said he has to take the next one to make himself feel a lot better from the the miss from last week, isn't? Yeah. It, it gives him confidence as well. It looked to me like a good thing to do. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, I've... a part of me was like watching that going, why isn't Lacazette taking it? I would be giving the ball to Lacazette. Oh, you see his penalties that he used to take when he was at um, Leon. Like he was banging it. it was Leon, wasn't it? Did we get him from Leon? It was, wasn't it? I'm literally going, I don't even know where we got Lacazette from. I'm a Yang or Lacazette? Lacazette's from Leon, right? I don't remember. I uh, think so. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it is. It might be. Look anyway, that up, people. But yeah, I will. Anyway, you can. So yeah, I, I'm thinking give it to give it to uh, uh, give it to Lacazette because I saw his penalties when he was at uh, Leon and he put them top corner every single time. But um, yeah, what can you I ask you? Aubameyang, you go and ask me. Yeah, can I ask you? Let's let's talk about let's talk about Rashford. Let's talk about Pogba and Lukaku. Those those three specifically. What's your take on their performance today? Rashford, I have to start with anyway. Um, looked to me like a sloppy game from him. Really, he looked like he looked very frustrated. He looked like he wasn't really trying to get the shots off that he really wanted to. They were pinging off like places that you wouldn't think players would put the ball. Do you know what I mean? Like it was just it, it looked it looked like. He was the man like a few days ago, and then suddenly he just lost that composure. And if he would have took a penalty today, I don't think he would have scored it. 
I think the fans got in his head. I said that to you earlier. I think he got. I think the fans got in his head. Um, the Arsenal fans. Yeah, I think we like something. Something happened. I can't remember the specific earlier on in the game. Something happened. The Arsenal fans got a bit frustrated by it, and they started booing him. And then I think the constant booing just got to him. I think also they were booing him as well because he was taking some wild, some like wild efforts from him. And there was a lot of like wages, uh, and every time he blazed it wide, and I think that just got in his head, and he couldn't. He he, he wanted to shut them up. We don't want to. We don't want to do that. We we've all had games where we played, we played football, even if it's five aside, and the opposition are annoying you, and you just want to bang one in to shut them up. And sadly, that opportunity, well, not for me, but sadly for you as a United fan, that opportunity didn't come for Rashford today and it actually affected the rest of the team because I thought I thought some of his other distribution was poor. Look, I could look to right, but I don't think he got the service. No, he didn't. And I, 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 I kind of think the defence as well was a little bit, little bit crazy today for Man United. I didn't think it was too great. I think, I I think they struggled. Thought. I think they struggled to keep Aubameyang and Lacazette under control. Uh, I think um, if it were four five one, which is what I thought we were going to play when we spoke yesterday, then that would have been more manageable. But he did. I mean, the team I predicted us playing today, and then the team that Emery put out are like polar opposites. So I never thought Ozil would play. Never. And actually, he did all right. I mean, I do think the ref, the refs don't give him a lot. Like you see him. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think he goes down easily? Like, did you see the few instances? And he he does hit the floor quite quickly. But I go, but is there not a foul? Like, some of these must be a foul. But it just seems that all the time they go against. He's. he's I don't playing. think they go down. I don't think he's meaning to go down on purpose. But he's light. It's just light. It's just it's it's a light touch. Like you can push somebody over without pushing them over, right? That that does happen. Do you know what I mean? Like if you barge but. Like, Shoulder to shoulder, if someone like gets beaten over the shoulder to shoulder, it's the shoulder to shoulder. Like yeah. if, if you're if you're weaker than the other person when you do that barge, then it's it's a fifty fifty challenge, but the, the stronger one wins. Yeah. Well look, the penalty that we got was a was It was very light. It wasn't a fifty fifty, it was more of a sixty forty in Lacazette's favour and Fred's just there and he's just leaning into him and but I, I, I'm go- talking about Ozil, I always think people, I think players lean into him. He feels that, like, even if it's light and he hits the floor. And sometimes you're like, oh, just stay on your feet. But other times I'm thinking, well, it, it's happened again and again and again. A, cu- a couple of these must be uh, fouls. Just quickly, a friend of mine just tweeted something. Can I share it? Yes, please. Arsenal's record when a Bamiang, Lacazette and Ozil all start with one ten. Oh, sorry, play 10. One six drawn four lost none. When it's those fr- when you that's your uh, front three of that little di- uh, well that triangle, Urzil uh, and the two strikers in front of them. Interesting. Makes a uh, makes a point, doesn't it? And they all played today as well, right? Uh, they all started, yeah. They all started today. So that's definitely your your strong three then. Well, the, the, look, we we were. I think the appeal as well for like when we signed a Bamiang last Christmas, like your last January transfer window, I think the appeal for him as well was like, I've got another really good striker alongside me. I've got a very creative attacking midfielder behind me. Yeah. I'm going to have a, a wonderful time. And that hasn't happened that much. And like today, I said to you today, I can't see him picking Ozil. He doesn't play Ozil in tough fixtures, right? He did. He did. Yeah. Um, Pogba, Pogba went missing today. He looked like it, yeah. He, he, he... Do you know what? I think that's something to do with Fred being there and not Herrera, but then that's just silly, really, because you should be able to play no matter who plays next to you. Yeah, but inside you, yeah. But uh, he hasn't played with Fred, I don't think, at all. Ah. Fred was unlucky, hitting the post. He was, yeah. There, there was a couple of shots in the in the first half that hit the hit the bars, right? Yeah, well, one on the... hit the bar. Fred hit the post. Yeah, um, mm. I can't think really, really on toward. I don't think there was anything really dangerous apart from that. Really, no. I was I was saying to 
I was saying to uh, Sula, my fiance, that basically, <sighs> I was like, this is a weird game. Like, no one's, no one's really threatened. Like, no, actually, that's a lie. Leno made a really good save. Do you remember Leno's good save with Lukaku? Be he hit did low. Yeah. Yeah, he got oh, a, a handle late. Like, um, but I just felt, yeah, I don't, I don't, Pogba's in my fantasy Prem team, so I'm like, a, a little part of me wanted him to play well, even though obviously I didn't want you to win, and then when he got a yellow, I was like, no, don't get carded, that's, that, I lose a point for that, um, but he wasn't, yeah, Pogba wasn't at his best today, Rashford wasn't at his best, uh, De Gea wasn't at his best, I feel, I'm, I want to apologise to you, Matt. I think I cursed De Gea. Sorry, I think I cursed him because I, I said, said that he might. He he was a he was the only one that I thought that might make mistakes. And it looked to me at that first goal that I heard a lot of people going, "Oh, it's the wind." And I look at on replay, and I'm like, he stepped a couple of like, too too many paces in, left. Yeah, because it but, left. He, but it was too many left to go back right. It was a he weird one. Too far that way to go that way. He, he shuffled too too far on the left to go back right. Because it's no, a little bit, but it weren't like a swerving ball like a Roberto Carlos, was it? No, you know, there's no one. There's mm. no one sighting him. There's no one blocking his line of vision. And actually, the shot is not that. He's not hit it with. He's hit it cleanly, and it has got swerve. Not that much of. But it's not even that hard. So even if a keeper has made his decision, a part of me went, how did he not... Knowing De Gea, how has he not got back across? So, stepped, oh, If you look on the replay, he steps too many times left. It takes too many shuffles that way. And then when he hits it, he's like, oh, I thought, oh. And then he can't, he just can't get to it. You watch it. You watch it on slow replay, does it. He, you watch him. There's, I think there's even a camera angle behind him that shows the goal. Right behind him, right on the line, and you see him going dun dun, dun like a crab, and then the shot's taken, and he's like, "Oh, I didn't realise he was going to do that." And then he tries to get tries to get across a bit. It's, it, it was a powerful shot, but it, the wind as well did take it. But you can't blame the wind for that. The wind's going to take anything. Like if you curl yeah. a ball, it's wind, isn't it? It's not. Yeah. <clears throat> He'll be kicking himself tonight. That wasn't his best game. By, well, yeah, it wasn't his best game by a long way. Your your bird Leno was more more of a De Gea tonight than anyone yeah, else. He made... Yeah, he was he was good. He was good. Um, it saves. <clears throat> it's surprising, isn't it? Because I was saying that he he is a good goalkeeper and twenty five million clean sheet, clean sheet, right? Twenty five million three or four years ago, you go cost a lot of money on a goalkeeper, but since last summer with um, Kepa, Ariza, Balaga and uh, Courtois, they go, well, that's not that much money. But yeah, two years ago, that was a lot of money for a goalkeeper. And yeah, I, I like him. I like him. It's the only time since Man United have Ole Gunnar Solskjaer that we haven't scored a goal apart from PSG. Yeah. Well, I think, but you know, I said, the, I, it's funny, I said yesterday to you, Socrates and Koscielny have built up a nice little partnership. And actually, yeah. those two, and then Monreal just complimented them even more. I thought Mustafi would be playing right back. And then Maitland Niles played a great game at right wing back. So it's weird that Emery doesn't see it's it's weird and sort of Wenger saw it a bit as well. Emery doesn't see Maitland Niles as a right back. He doesn't see Kalasanac as a left back, but he can see them playing as wing backs. I right, look, let's see, I think he's he look he seems quite a good tactician. Occasionally he's got them wrong. Um I still think he's got to change his tactics when he deals with Urzu. I still feel like he needs to keep building Urzu's confidence up because uh, I feel like he's so vulnerable. Um, but yeah, like look, I'm, mate, I'm really happy with the result. But actually, I think we got really, I got, I think we got very, very lucky tonight. Well, I said you needed it and got it, and the referee was good to you as well, very kind. With the, with the penalty, hundred percent. I would say some other early decisions in the officiating weren't great you could hear the Arsenal fans getting really frustrated I mean it, it's so funny when you watch a game and like because I'm I do kind of look at it quite neutrally and there was one Xhaka made a really made a tackle on Pogba and he came away with a ball and he's going to the ref but I've got the ball look I've got the ball it's like 
Yeah, but I can see that you fouled. You didn't get the. You kicked him. He put the ball out, and then you like put the ball away from himself, and then you took it. Then, but you fouled him. But you could hear the Arsenal fans groan and go, "Well, I don't agree with them that one." But then there was a few others before that, like offside. There was a couple of them, like that's not offside, and but then you go, "What well, was going to happen there if like?" The referee deems it offside, or the linesman deems it offside, but the ask, but the I don't know what if everyone else doesn't deem it offside, do they go and review it? I, I'm really worried about VAR. I feel like it's going to kill the game. It might do, it might do, but it might make it good as well. I think that it might, it might make it more interesting. I don't know. It would have been, it would have made the game today more interesting. Because you think you wouldn't have got that the so penalty. Got it would have been one 0 and it would have made it more interesting. You'd have had to still try and to fight for that extra goal and same as us like yeah of course it would okay Look, but PSG the other day when they even when they we got that penalty they were still fighting for that that winner weren't they and it made it they made even the last few minutes exciting mm. okay but didn't we say as well the problem with the VAR is like with an incident like today does it come down to personal interpretation because we can still say there is contact Right, yeah. there was contact made, but we both agree that the contact made was minimal and not enough to warrant Lacazette going down and to warrant giving a penalty. But other people might say, "Well, yeah, there was. It's still con- contact is contact." But then, football's a contact sport. Otherwise, what will happen is football will become a non-contact sport. And any time a player, two players collide, there'll be a. Do you know what I mean? Like that, we might be like, overprotecting the game. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. It's it's a tough one. I mean, like, I I feel mali- malicious tackles should be deemed in the way they should do. Like, you know, a penalty, a yellow card, red card. It's in the in the view of the referee. But yeah, like with today, you you yeah, you can't really. It's it's up to you, isn't it? <laughs> we both thought it wasn't, but the ref thought it was just enough. It was a knock, and in the rule books, it probably does say any contact like that is. Off the ball is uh yeah. What about um I forgot what about probably should have got a yellow card earlier when he sort of got Ramsey in a sort of head or like Ramsey beat him and then he grabbed his head and you're like he got away with nothing there and I was like well that's that's a yellow and then if he got I one saw it though that I wouldn't even take that to VAR. No, because but but you did you think it was a booking or do you think it was just a coming together? He sort of leaves an arm in, grapples Ramsey's head. I don't remember too much of it happening afterwards, so it didn't seem like it was much of a problem between the players or like anybody else in the team. So just carry on. Sometimes a, a, a foul is just a foul. A free kick is just a free kick. That's the penalty. Sometimes. Shall we um, talk about, very briefly, your... Very quickly, yeah, tell me. You're, well, we've got a game on Thursday, but I don't know when. No, there's no. Oh, no. No, no not for. We've got the draw on Friday next week. Friday. And I think we've got obviously Arsenal and. Ren again on Thursday. Yeah, Arsenal, Ren on Thursday. But we've got Liverpool playing. Oh, Bayern. Say, Liverpool. Yeah, Bayern Munich, Liverpool. Um, uh, oh, Man City playing at yeah. home against. It's not Schalke, is it? Hoffenheim. Sorry, Hoffenheim. That's who Reese Nelson's playing for. There you go. So you want to watch that one as well? Probably do well, a few. I'll be honest, with you, Matt. I haven't got BT Sport. I don't know how you watch it. I mean, we shouldn't be encouraging people to illegally stream this stuff. But I haven't got BT Sport. Um, You're doing it. <clears throat> um, I don't. I'll be honest, Matt. I've not really been watching Champions League because. We're not in it, and it's so it's sort of like ignorance is bliss. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is a bit like that. Like, why should I care? I want to focus on the competition Arsenal are in. But I am draw. I'm slightly drawn back into it. So yeah, yeah. sorry. You, you, the, the, only, the only reason you want to do good not in this competition is Schalke. It is Schalke. It is Schalke. Yeah, not Hoffenheim. No, it's Schalke. My apologies. So you got Juve Madrid, which was. 2-0 Madrid in the previous fixture. So Juventus have got a big hill to come, come uh, overcome, but they are at home in Turin. Uh, Man City, Schalke. 
They're three two up against Schalke. Barca Leon, which finished nil nil in France. And then, yeah, Munich-Liverpool, which is also 0-0. That's going to be tricky for Liverpool, away at Munich. And we, I mean, obviously, as a Man U fan, surely you want Liverpool to stay in the Champions League as long as possible, that they are struggling to keep their focus on two competitions? Um, no? Kind of, yeah. I'm kind of? Mm, kind of. 50-50, I guess. Yeah, I... I don't. I don't want. I don't want them to win a Champions League. So get them to the semi-finals and then knock them out there. For me, like, but do you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah like if if they, even if they win the league this year, like fair play to them. It's been a long time, and they have they've done well this season. So have Man City been, as well. So. They've been great this season, but it's just Man City are always there. And I mean, Man City have lost four games 